so not only is dr does his name being thrown here and there by John Public as usual, but also Dr. Dayton Campbell moves to dismiss speculation that he pronounced Melissa Silvera dead. He's the PNP General Secretary and he has dismissed rumors that he was the doctor who initially pronounced Melissa Silvera dead. Melissa Silvera was the wife of former West St. Mary MP Julian Silvera. Mr. Silvera has since been charged with the murder, though he maintains his innocence. There's been intense speculation as to who initially checked Mrs. Silvera for vital signs at the couple's Stonehill home in St. Andrew on November 10th. That speculation deepened when it was later revealed by police that she was shot three times, despite initial reports suggesting she died in her sleep. When the question was put to Dr. Campbell on the social media platform Instagram, he stated that at the time of the incident, he was in Darleston, Westmoreland. He instead directed all queries on the matter to head of the JCF crime portfolio, Deputy Commissioner of Police Fitz Bailey. However, during a media briefing on Friday, DCP Bailey says the role of the doctor has been exaggerated and in some instances overblown. In terms of when a body or when a person who is deemed to be dead is taken to a medical facility, the role of the doctor is basically to confirm if the person is, de is dead. If the person is not dead, then automatically they will respond based on their own training. But the, the, the person who pronounces an individual dead is not even requested to attend court because after that, it triggers other processes, for example, post-mortem. So essentially, that's, that's, that's it. So I heard the issue about how they, in relation to the instant case, Yes, why the doctor that pronounced the individual dead did not um, see that he's, he suffered gunshot wound. That is not the role of the doctor, really. It's the post-mortem that will reveal that. That's the voice of Deputy Commissioner of Police, Fitz Bailey, head of the JCF's crime portfolio. The recently appointed opposition spokesman on health, Dr. Alfred Dawes has dismissed rumors that he was the doctor who initially pronounced Melissa Silvera dead. Dr. Dawes made the comment on his Instagram page on Monday. Though he did not refer to Mrs. Silvera's death directly, rumors have been circulating that a prominent PNP member was the doctor checked for vital signs at the time of her death on November 10. Dr. Dawes is the second member of the opposition who distanced himself from the speculation. Initial reports suggested that Mrs. Silvera died in her sleep. However, her death was upgraded to murder after autopsy reports revealed she was shot at least three times at her home in Stony Hill, St. Andrew. Her husband, Julian Silvera, has since been charged with her murder. The murder accused spent the weekend in jail. Is set to go before the court sometime this week. He has maintained his innocence. If you wanna be who are out there trying to use my name and my likeness to gain followers and build a career out of nothing, I was never the one to pronounce anybody and do not call up my name about any nonsense about injections. Of course, I am totally not surprised. This is typical of us. Uh, the moment something happens and without the facts, you know, people just go around and call in people's names, whether or not they know if it's true or not. And we don't think about the consequences of that and the reputation of people that we can actually tarnish if it is, you know, further revealed that the person's names that you have been calling by no means are affiliated or associated in any way, shape or form. And this is not a defense against Dr. Dawes or anybody else. This is just saying that sometimes we are so hasten to run, call people's name, implicating people based on rumors all throughout the reporting, even on nationwide rumors. Hmm? 
speculation, right? Those are the words being thrown. And even if it is borne out further, whomever is involved, we as the John public are not allowing the investigation to reveal that. We're just going out there and just calling people's name based on rumors, based on speculation. That's not something that unfortunately we are able to stop in this day and age of social media and everybody who has a voice will use it whether or not they know the facts but i always say to people that i associate myself with closely always try to put yourself on the other side of the fence and sometimes if you are not somebody who can think objectively that is an approach that can help you to see things differently the grass is not always green on the other side so what you're seeing right now may not necessarily be what exists over the other side and so speculating and calling random people's name without knowing the facts without hearing more information sometimes it's not good for the persons involved but of course i i have no control over what people do nobody has control over what people do social media is there and unfortunately this will continue other people's name will be called and let's see where the investigation takes us but i guess in this day and age that's not something that we can control i have no facts i don't have any information surrounding the persons who may or may not be involved and i will not be lending any speculation at all i promise to follow up on this news because it's just very important there's a lot of things initially that concerns me when i heard the report and so it's not for me to speculate who is and who is not involved i mean how would i know that i'm not all knowing i'm not god and so i am relying on the investigations to yield intended results so that the perpetrators can be brought to justice so i will continue to follow up and share the news but kindly bear in mind that it's all speculation at this moment we can always share our reservations and our opinions but not be quick to put it out there in the public forum and calling up other person's name without having any proof just you having a mere feeling or just you having a mere thought uh, about who might be involved is just not sufficient right especially when you are doing that in a public forum and especially when investigations will reveal otherwise i oftentimes don't hear john public going out and offering any apologies to the people's name that were tarnished albeit some person's reputation will be affected and we we know how it is but like i said that's not something i can control i it will continue to happen matters not how i feel about it but i just hope that that is something that i can see <laughs> change in the world it's not unique to jamaicans people all over the world are like that experts non-experts everybody has an opinion and they feel as though they are to use it and sometimes in the most irresponsible way so i'll continue to follow up on this share the news and thank you guys and i will see you in the next one